Welcome to video number 15 SQL reporting service in this video we'll try to create a parameter based reports what is the parameter based reports it's like you supply some parameters to your report and based on which it generates the report for you it's like you have a search on the website you search something and based on which you get the data right all right so let's get started by visual studio uh, as you can see I already got the data share data source so I don't need to create my data source again so I'll create a report. I'm gonna call this report as parameter report one. I'll hit OK, and I'm gonna create a data set. <coughs> Before creating a data set, I want to say something like you can create the parameters from here if you like but most safest and the good practices you always go from the data set because uh, the actual query what you're doing and creating is over here so I'm gonna call this data set as parameter all good <clears throat> then I'm gonna choose my connection which is not available here so I'm gonna click new and I'm gonna choose the use share data show reference and I'm gonna choose my generic connection hit ok now my data set is talking to the database all right using this data source <clears throat> then I'm gonna hit the query designer and using which we'll start doing our stuff I'm gonna add a table I'm gonna add order order details custom sorry I'm gonna add customers and where's my favorite one product add close now the query engine is very much smart enough to understand the relation between these guys so now the basic question is what exactly we need to display on the report we are going to choose so I need order date I need order ID I need product name I need uh, what else I need all right who's buying the product I need the contact name so this is cool now the requirement comes I'm sorry I do need the product ID as well now the requirement comes and boss your boss comes to you and tells you hey I need a report in which you are going to pass the parameter as a product ID and based on which I'll get the data you said boss no problem I'm an old bounty hunter so either way you can do it by a query or you can pass a filter so you can pass a filter like this equal to it's like an expression and then you say product ID so you're notifying the SQL so based on the product ID you want to query I mean the filter the data and the moment you let go it adds a where clause for you so this is pretty cool and if you want to check that we are right or wrong then you need to run this query pass the parameter as one and based on which you can see you have 38 records so this is cool click OK click on you can see your query over here joins and blah 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 and hit OK now on the left hand side you can see your parameter is added over here right so this is cool next thing I'm gonna add a table and whoops I'm gonna add a table and move a little bit here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my report data I'm start putting my little tiny do's into the boxes order ID product name and it is a simple process dragging from the report data and just putting in there right so this is cool alright so I got a lot of things on the table now next thing all I need to do is save and I need to do the preview now this engine is very much smart enough looking at the data set it knows it is expecting a parameter simply enter the parameter head view reports you're gonna end up with 38 records right so this is cool and then you add two again this is cool right so it's working fine this is what we need and again your stupid boss comes back in and he tells you all oh, right <clears throat> the requirement has changed I now I don't want to go by the product ID I want to go by product name the customers are confused so you look at your boss you give uh, some weird expression you say okay and you take this guy out control X and then you say you want on product name all right I'll put it there I'll change the name of a parameter and okay so you tell your boss all right it's done the query has changed let's test it out what are the products we have in the SQL all right we got chai and you got Chang all right so let's test it out chai all right, we know it's going to give us 38 records. Let's ex execute again for Chang. Chang sounds like a Chinese name. And 44 records. So everything looks great. Hit OK. And you can see now you got two parameters. Actually, as per the plan, 
the thing is your query got updated but your parameters didn't got updated so if now if you do the preview then it will gives you two parameters product id and product name technically speaking this is wrong because the query is designed in such a way that it only accepts the product name so simply come here right click delete whoops and it's gone now simply hit the preview and you can now enter the product name as chai and you can view the report and you are getting a good number of records and everything it looks cool and or you can try to write chang and hit enter you get chang right and you got everything the basic stuff like order date order id and blah 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 so this is the first video in which i give you an idea like you know how can you generate a parameter based reports so this is very simple but now if you look at the reports something is missing and what that thing is missing we are going to cover in the next video so i hope you guys will be joining me there and if you if this video helps you in some way please give me a thumbs up to this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this good night and take care